When I was eight years old, someone brought me to a theater with lots of other children. We had come to see a production of Peter Pan, and I remember something seemed wrong with the whole production. Odd things kept happening, like when the children would fly, the ropes would keep breaking and the actors would come thumping to the ground and they'd have to be carried off by the stagehands. There seemed to be an unlimited supply of understudies to take the children's places and then they'd fall to the ground. And then the crocodile that chases Captain Hook seemed to be a real crocodile. And at one point it fell off the stage, crushing several children in the front row. Several understudies came and took their places in the audience. And from scene to scene, Wendy seemed to get fatter and fatter until finally, by the second act, she was immobile and had to be moved with a cart. The voice belonged to the actress playing Peter Pan. You remember how in the second act, Tinkerbell drinks some poison that Peter's about to drink in order to save him? And then Peter turns to the audience and says that Tinkerbell is going to die because not enough people believe in fairies, but that if everybody in the audience claps real hard to show that they do believe in fairies, then maybe Tinkerbell won't die. And so then all the children started to clap. We clapped very hard and very long. My palms hurt and even started to bleed. I clapped so hard. Then suddenly, the actress playing Peter Pan turned to the audience and she said, that wasn't enough. You didn't clap hard enough. Tinkerbell's dead. Uh. Well. And. And then everyone started to cry. <laughs> the actress stalked off stage and refused to continue with the play. And they finally had to bring down the curtain. No one could see anything through all the tears, so the ushers had to come and help the children up the aisles and out into the street. I don't think any of us were ever the same after that experience. <laughs>